Street with Global Interviews. I'm Don Reed, and tonight I'd like to introduce you to a band that's the epitome of independent music and an awesome addition to the world of radio music. This is Soldiers of Dot Army. What's up, guys? Yo. I'm Jacob. I'm the songwriter, primary songwriter, singer, guitar player. Bobby Lee, bass player, uh, songwriter. You're from the D.C. area? Arlington. Arlington, Arlington Virginia. Cool. Did Growing up in a political area that yeah, influenced your music. Definitely. Style. That's right. what we're all about. Right. It's, you know, DC and doing the reggae mm -hmm. thing, but from this perspective. Right. Now, the name Soldiers of Dark Army, does that come from the Israel vibration? No, it comes from a Peter Tosh song. Okay. Yeah, it's called Recruiting Soldiers. When Bob Marley died, everybody got dropped off their record labels. So the Rolling Stones signed Peter Tosh to do two albums on the Stones label. And that song is from an album called the Mystic Man that we used to have like the, the vinyl of when we were kids. And uh, yeah, we thought it was talking about us. So I know you guys play a ton of shows, like worldwide. What are some of the countries you played in? All over Europe, like I guess Portugal, France, Sweden, London, Switzerland, that type of stuff. Belgium. Oh. South America, all over South America, all over the US, and then the Pacific Islands too. So right at this moment, where do you think the hugest reggae scene is? Um, my favorite reggae scene is in South America, but a close second is North America. I think the Americas have got something really cool happening. A lot of big, uh, a lot of American bands are getting big right now, and um, it's cool to see that. You know. How do international audiences compare to stateside audiences? Um, there's like good things about everywhere you go, like states. The shows are packed, everybody speaks English, um, so everybody knows what you're talking about. However, in other countries, there's different good things too. Like, in Europe, they just take music real seriously in general. Um, in South America, I think the message probably means more to those people than anybody I've ever seen. Like, the messages and the songs, like, they really live what they're listening to. I know you guys did a DVD um, for your tour in Hawaii. The Hawaii tour, yeah. How's yeah. the scene over there? Would you say that's like the biggest state as far as ready? Hawaii's got, as far as the states go, they're, yeah, they probably got the biggest reggae scene going. They got the vibe too, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's in their blood, like sure. reggae is, that's. Okay, let's talk about your latest release, yeah. Born Babylon. How does that compare to your other albums? Um, the first album for us was kind of like figuring out what we were going to be doing. I think the second album, Peace in a Time of War, was kind of figuring out what we were going to be talking about. The third album, Get Wiser, was kind of figuring out how we were going to sound. And Born in Babylon is like all three of those things, kind of what we've learned. Bob made a comment, he was like, you know, this album we've been trying to make our whole lives, but it's kind of true. Like, Born in Babylon is, it's us, like for real, it, it's what we sound like. And off that album, the song, I Don't Wanna Wait. I Don't Wanna Wait. It's a song about like talking about something and not doing it, you know, which we're definitely all guilty of. Like, you know, we, we say like, oh yeah, you know, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, but tomorrow, or like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, but, like, you know, the next month, you know. That's kind of like, you know, in a, like a society kind of where we have the luxury to sit around in rooms and talk about it and not really be forced to do it that day to survive, you know? I feel like we lose something that we maybe used to have, you know, like when we were founding this country, basically. It's something that there's a sense of urgency to everything. All the inventions that came out, all the like forms of government that were being invented, all the, you know, the way life changed so drastically. I feel like now it's kind of like we put on, we're like kind of lackadaisy about our whole thing. And so I don't want to wait is like trying to put a sense of urgency back into everything. And everything I talk about in the verses and the songs, the things I think need urgency. Um, every album's 
kind of got like a theme about it. And this one, I don't know, you gotta find it. We didn't name it, you know? Like the first album was Peace and Time War, so the whole album was about Peace and Time War. The next album was about Get Wiser, the rival of Real Life George Bush. This album's called Born in Babylon, and there's no real theme about it, except, you know, we're thinking that if you were, if you feel like you were born in Babylon, there's gonna be things on here that like speak to you. Well, are there any final thoughts that you want to share with us? Bobby Lee. really do truly believe that love is the only thing that can save this world. And faith. Thank you. This is Jacob Hempo, Bobby Lee, and we're Soja, part of it. And you're watching MHC Global. Strictly Global. Boom, blaze it.